being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do. Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks, trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. 
Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Iden. <laughs> For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. I'm crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. took months, months of nothing passing by, and I woke up, I knew it was time, time to start again, to build a new life. It was so obvious, deep inside, I, I always knew. needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. I told Ryan I couldn't see my future with him. We've been through too many difficult times together. Times I want to forget. He said he understood that he'd wait as long as it takes. I know I felt something for him. It just wasn't strong enough. How could I live a normal life again after all I've been through? Hell, who wants to live a normal life anyway? A boyfriend, a job counting the days till my next vacation. I wanted it for so long, but I finally realized that that life wasn't for me. So I took to the road. I've seen many rifts to the other side. Hundreds of them all over the country. Homes where strange things happen. Motel rooms that no one ever wants to sleep in again. Entities are all around us. They live in our houses, sleep in our beds. They're with us every second of every day. I know they're lurking in the shadows.
I've missed you. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. 